At the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how you can access hundreds of AI agents for free that are going to allow you to automate your work, save time, and ultimately make more money. Because Lindy AI just released a massive update that makes this the best AI agent tool that I've seen yet, and I think it's going to blow your mind. Okay, so like I said, the tool that I'm talking about is lindy.ai. This is going to allow you to automate a bunch of crazy things, and I wanna show you exactly how this works. So, as you can see right here, Lindy is the simplest way to create AI agents, smart automations that integrate with literally a bunch of different apps. In fact, they have thousands of integrations that you can see here, so this is exactly how it works. You select a trigger, you connect a bunch of different apps, and then you're going to let AI do the rest of the work. And like I said before, if you come up here to the top right hand corner, you could get started with it today for free. Now, once you're logged in, this is what this is actually gonna look like. And I wanna walk you through a bunch of different things that you could do in here. First and foremost, if you come under Lindy's right here, you're gonna see all of your different Lindy's, you're gonna see all the different integrations, and you're gonna be able to see if they're enabled or if they're disabled, and you're going to be able to put these into a bunch of different folders. Let's say that you have some for sales, you have some for marketing, you have some for meetings, you can then put those all into different folders so that you can actually have a good read on, hey, okay, this this is here for this, this is here for this, etc. In addition to that, if we come into new Lindy right here, you can choose from a bunch of different templates. In fact, they literally have hundreds of templates that we'll go through in just a second. But first, I wanted to show you this. So you could choose from a template, or if we click start from scratch right here, this is going to allow us to actually build this out. And I want to walk you through very quickly how you actually do this. So First, you're going to select a trigger. You are going to see a bunch of different popular triggers here, or you could search by apps, and then you'll be able to go through each one of these and see all these different triggers that they have. For example, let's say I wanted to do something if I got an email, I could do that. Or if I sent an email, I could do that. Or if there's a new labeled email, I could do that. There are literally tons and tons of apps, tons and tons of things that you can add in here. From there, you could get this to enter a loop, enter a condition, enter an AI agent, perform an action, or search knowledge base. So if you come into any of these, you will be able to see that you'll be able to build all these out. You'll be able to choose the model. You'll be able to choose whether it needs confirmation. You'll be able to choose what its skill is. You'll be able to actually build this out with a prompt. Now, if we come into settings up here, you're gonna see a bunch of things that you could do. One, you could add in context here, which is going to be incredibly helpful and is going to help the AI agent do what you need it to do. You could add in different memories here. For example, remind it that your working hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. or things like that. And you can also change what the model is here and you could have this enter safe mode if you wanted to. So essentially what this is going to do is it is going to have Lindy ask for confirmation before it performs anything that could have a side effect. Now, if we come up here to flow editor, this is going to bring you back to this right here. And if you come to tasks, this will then show off a bunch of different things that you can do within this. Now I wanted to come into these templates quick to show you all of them that exist. So we come over here, we discard this, we come over here, we can see that there are literally tons and tons of templates. They have them broken out for sales, support, meetings, emails, more. Like I said, they literally have hundreds of templates that you can see under here, and there are tons for pretty much everything that you could think of. Now, what I just showed you isn't even the craziest part, because like I said earlier, they just released a new update, and this is really going to blow your mind. But before we get into it, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this every single day, and if you want to learn more about AI and exactly how to use it, you're not going to want to miss them. Okay, now this right here is one of the massive updates that they just introduced. So what you're able to do now, and this is called Lindy Swarm, is you can come in here, tell it what to do, and then what this does is basically duplicates the AI agent that it has doing something to do it hundreds of times thousands of times so that it does this across multiple things. So instead of having an AI agent that goes through for this example of researching people that are going to be at an event and it would go through and do John and then it would do Cindy and then it would do Lucy and then it would do Max, guess what it's going to do now? Look at this. It's literally going to go through and do that for a bunch of different people. So now you are able to duplicate the one AI agent that you have to have it happen thousands of times hundreds of times or however many times you need it to happen in order to get that thing done 
that you need done. And then as we could see here, this literally went through and was able to complete the work of 500 agents in just a few seconds. And this is going to be a complete game changer. Okay, now I wanna show off for you exactly what this looks like and exactly how you can implement it in action. So if I come into my Lindy's right here, we're going to see that I have this web research right here. If I click on this, what I can then do is I can come over here and I can go into tasks. Now this is going to bring up all the different tasks that I have this thing doing right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, please find me a list of pool care companies in Boca Raton. Florida and give me their information so I can reach out. Let's say that I had a business that was trying to help pool companies automate their tasks or something like that. I don't have a business like this, but I'm using this hypothetically. You can get this right here to go through and find you a bunch of leads. And then guess what you could do? You could then get another tool, an outreacher tool, to take all of those leads and then reach out to them based on a template that you've created. Now what this is going through and doing is this is actually doing all of that research and we could see right here that we'll be able to click into this once this is done. For example, I also did this with lawn care companies and it went through and pulled pulled their location, it pulled their phone number, and pulled in all other relevant information. And if we click on this, we'll be able to see what it actually looks like. We'll see what the query was, we'll see what the engine that they used, we'll see the location, and then we could go through and see all of the different results that it got in here, and we could see if there were any duplicates. So if we come over here, this right here is done, and as we could see, it pulled up a bunch of different things here. It gave us reviews, how long they've been in business, and a bunch of stuff like that. Now we could go through and say, hey, can you please also also give us the contact information. But let's say that we wanted this to run on loop or we wanted to use AI Agent Swarm, all we'd have to do is come into Flow Editor right here and we would need to add in loop. This loop function right here is going to allow you to have it loop over a list of items a bunch of different times. You could choose what model it's using it. You could choose things that should be added in there and you can choose how many cycles this can actually be done for. In addition to that, you could come in here and set it manually. You could prompt it with AI or you could have it set up automatically. And what this is going to allow you to do is take advantage of that AI agent swarm feature where you can replicate one AI agent a bunch of different times. In addition to that, there are a few other use cases I wanted to walk you through that are really, really insane and I think you're going to be incredibly excited about. So if we come over here and come into solutions, we're going to see a bunch of different solutions that they have and a bunch of different integrations. So if we come over here into phone calls, I think this is really cool because they actually just released this also. This is an AI phone agent that speaks for your business. And we could actually try it for free right here, or if we scroll down right here, we'll be able to see a bunch of different things that it could do. You can make calls by the thousands without lifting a finger. You could have 24 seven, 365 business hours, and guess what? You'll be able to replay all the phone calls. You could capture conversation data and extract insights, and you could expand this to be in over 50 languages. This is insane. And this is exactly why I think Lindy is one of the best solutions for this right now. And again, you could get started with this for free and you could come over here to all their different solutions and see all the different templates that they have. I wanna read you through a few of these right here because these are insane. So if we come into their template hub right here, you could see that we can literally go through a bunch of different use cases. Web scrapers, knowledge retrieval, chatbot, coaching, bunch of stuff. For example, email follow-up reminder, email negotiator, this even one that's an Amazon store operator, or a sales meeting recorder, or a candidate screener, or a Gmail to Airtable email archiver, or a competition tracker a sales coach. There is literally an endless amount of things that you are now going to be able to automate. You're going to be able to save time. And ultimately, once you start doing these things, then you can spend your time more valuably on higher order things so you can make more money. Now, if you like this video here, you should check out this one right here that walks you through Gemini 2.5 Pro's latest changes because they just dropped the new model and a few new features with it. And it's crazy if you haven't seen it yet. I'll see you over there.